For the first time in its history, Brazil hosted an exposition by Mona Hatum, an Arab artist and one of the most prominent names in contemporary art. This is my very first solo exhibition in a museum in South America. Um, and the exhibition gathers together around 30 pieces of work, uh, some of which I have made specifically for this exhibition during a stay here in, in Sao Paulo for five weeks. And uh, so in this room, that's, uh, the, which is a central room of the Pin Pinacoteca, Estación Pinacoteca, uh, with the eight uh, columns, um, we are, I'm showing mostly the recent work that I've made specifically for this exhibition. One of them is a projection on the right here, which is uh, actually a live uh, video projection of what's going on in the street outside the museum. Museums are usually very rarefied spaces where, uh, you know, you're sort of getting away from the street life and, and the life outside. And in this case, I have invited the street noises and the street goings on into the museum. And also, actually, other aspects of this, um, uh, this, the works in this room also refer to life outside. Um, the piece behind me here called uh, Drowning Sorrows, and it's actually based on using um, cachaça bottles, which are the local drink here in Brazil, and cutting them um, in half at an angle, so they sit on the floor looking like they are floating on water. Uh, and the main project I made for this exhibition is called Soñando Acordado. And basically it's uh, a collaboration with uh, an organization called ACTC, which is an organization that looks after women whose child is about to have a heart transplant. So they offer them housing near the hospital and also they teach them to embroider as a way of keeping their mind off their troubles but also as a way to earn money while they're waiting for their child to be operated. So the, it was a very simple idea, is to, was to ask them to draw and illustrate their dreams or their, their dearest wishes and to uh, embroider them on a pillowcase. Uh, another work which is behind you called uh, Electrified, you have a line of um, objects from the household, kitchen utensils, um, chairs, um, and they are all electri electrified. The electricity runs through them to light a light bulb at the bottom, which uh, fluctuates um, up and down. If you imagine someone uh, being um, uh, evacuated from a home, from a house, or a, a squat or something, or illegally living in a house, they would usually throw all the furniture out of the window, and this, it has this kind of feeling of being that action suspended, you know, in air. Uh, other works in here, which were made specifically for this show, was uh, SP Atelier, which is Sao Paulo Atelier. I decided to, um, uh, very often when I go and do a kind of residency in places, um, in various places like Cairo, like Amman, like uh, uh, Mexico City, I spend a substantial amount of time, like five, six, seven weeks, eight weeks, sometimes two months or more. In that time, I accumulate a lot of um, uh, samples of works that I'm trying, or drawings, or planning, or um, you know, photography that I take in, in the location. So this time I decided to keep all these and exhibit them as um, a kind of record of my stay here and my experience of working on the show. So you will see a lot of things that refer to the works that are in the exhibition.